G'day and welcome to uh, video number two for the Egan Brothers channel and today I'm going to um, teach people how to, beginners, this is a beginners one, for um, retuning and putting new strings on the Wolfgang. Because I've been playing her a long time and I was trying to think back, okay if I'm a beginner, what did... Um, now what did I what do I need to know? Because I knew absolutely nothing. So I'm just thinking, okay, if I was a beginner out there and I know absolutely nothing, um, what's the fundamental thing that I need to do? And that is how to string a guitar. If you can't string and tune the guitar, you're not gonna really get very far. So this is what it's all about. So I've got my old um, PV Wolfgang. And I also have a new Fender Wolfgang EVH, and I'm going to put strings on both of them. So I'm going to show you how to do it and what you need. All right, so you need some cutters because we've got to cut the ends of the string. So you need some cutters. You need an, what I call an Allen key. It's just a little you know, type of spanner type of thing to unlock the actual locking nuts on the fretboard and to be able to put the strings in. But I'll show you that in the video, it's much easier than me explaining it. Um, and of course, um, a winder. So this is just a little gadget to on the string winders to just turn around and spin around, just make it a little bit easier and a bit quicker to um, put that on. Strings. I use uh, Diodario's Super Light Gauge. So they're what well, they could say 9s to 42, so 0 0.009 to 0 0.042, and what that means is the 0 0.09 is the lightest, thinnest string, and right, and then a series of strings gauges higher, right up to 0 0.042, which is the heaviest string. So I use a light gauge because I like to play fast, and I need some bit more flexibility, and I, that's that's what suits me. So you might play. A heavier gauge it's really whatever you like but um, you tend to play a heavier gauge if you say doing like a Steve Ray Vaughan style playing and so on but um, anyway I'm just going to change the camera now and I'll put the guitar down and we'll get right into it and show you how to do it okay so this is the as you can see there the PV Wolfgang and this guitar I don't know what year I actually got it but um, I'm trying to think, I'd have to look it up, but it was it must be getting close to 20 years old, this thing. Anyway, it's its really cool. Uh, these are the locking nuts I was telling you about. So, this is where the Allen, the Allen key, the little key goes in there and it, and it um, loosens them. I'll do that right now. See, and we're right here. So you just turn them, they're not, everything's just finger tight, you're not working on a, you know, a car or anything it's just finger tight don't overdo stress anything and so let's just undo that right so that means that this locking nut will allow these strings to slide backwards and forwards so when you're doing lots of dive bombs and guitar playing you want these up tight and firm so stops the movement and holds it in tune these are this is your winders um, and along the fretboard <clears throat> switch for the front and back pickups. I tend to use back pickups most of the time. Uh, the difference between the um, PV um, Wolfgang and the and the new one is the volume. This only has the volume. The other one has a, a tone knob bat here as well. I never use the tone. I just use the volume, so it doesn't doesn't phase me. Um, and this is a tremolo arm, and this, so this just unwinds like that. And then comes off. Okay, so that's the locking nuts undone. So what I've got to do now is grab the little winder and start loosening the strings. So let's see if I can make it a bit of noise. So down it goes. 
Now I'm just, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all these and loosen them all off and I'm going to come back. Okay, so I've completely unwound this this string here. So if I just undo by hand the rest of this little locking nut, you'll see the top of it. There we go. Take that out. So you can see the string just lifted straight off from there. So um, go down to this end. See how it goes in there. And if I undo it, this end. It's really tricky to do it with holding a camera at the same time. But anyway. Right, that'll do it. So we can see here, this should just pop out. There you go. Right, so that's that's the string all loose. So now the new string's gonna go along there and then get wound back on there and then we put the do the reverse and do that up. Alright, so I'm just gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna come back and I'll have all these strings removed and we'll go to the next phase. Okay, so you can see here all the um, strings are removed. You might want to just get a rag and um, give it a bit of a wipe down, just give it a clean. All the strings are out of the way, so you get the dust off, build up stuff around, just keep it um, all good. And then what we'll do is <clears throat> get your strings out, so for the packet. So you can see um, one of the things I like about this um, this brand is um, very limited packaging. I just don't have a lot of a lot of um, rubbish to deal with, which is good. Um, sometimes I don't know whether they still do it, but years ago they'd put each string in its own packet, and it was just endless stuff. Anyway, so uh, before I do that, each colour represents the um, the string gauge. So you've got um, the brass all the way to the silver and those colours. So that's how you identify each string. So let me just get into this. Okay, so there's so that way you can see all the all the colours there. So the silver, the purple, the green black so I always start with the thickest one and just just be careful with pretty sharp little ends just be careful of your eyes flicking around and so that's not the thickest one it's a brass one so you can see on the on the packet as well. The brass is the 42, and that's the thickest. Those there. And what we're going to do with the cutters, is we're going to cut because this. Let me see that. Let me see if you can see that. Okay, near enough. In here, this is where the the end of the string's got to go. So obviously the nut having this brass ring at the end of it's not going to go in there. So you just literally just cut it off. So it's gone. And you put the string in right into there. And then you grab your Allen key, which I've just hidden under here. Right here. And then tighten it up. So, put all the strings in that end. And now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to gun down this end. We're going to just move the camera so we can get the front of the neck. There we go. Okay. 
So this is the string runs all the way up here, it goes under that, like so. I mean, you can just feed it through, but it's just I'm undoing it just so you can see the whole um, thing how it actually works. Right, yeah. So put it through, and you, this is a bit of judgment here. Um, put this little locking nut back on okay and what will happen from here is we'll we'll get the winder on it and always wind it the right way so you go do everything the same so when you go to undo anything or tune it it's all understood so just no need to have to wind a huge amount of string onto it onto the winder just got to this is with a bit of experience will come in you'll just go okay that's about right just needs to be wound on enough to um, be strong and and it'll work hold the note that's all you want so then you wind this through. On my hand, I'm just holding it like that. That's just what I do. Wind this on. Keep going around and around. Okay, so now just it's loose, it's not tuned obviously. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the end off. And get rid of that. So repeat and wind it through there. I guess you know, I was winding it um, say anti-clockwise or forwards. Do that all the way through and then put all the others through so I'll do that now okay so what you can see here is I've just done those two and I'll just um, cut the end up there so you hear that loose little bit of tension but they're just there just to keep the thing supported okay so we'll continue on and push through okay so what um, I've got here now is new strings and ready to be tuned up. It's a bit loose. So we come up here now to the locking nut. Um, just tighten them up a little bit. We won't tighten them with that yet, but they're all not going to fall off, so that's cool. But the strings can still move, so I can use this to get the whole thing up in tune. And then what happens here on these ones here, these go up and down as you turn them. And this is what does the really fine tuning. So just get that that um, fraction of a of movement that you need to get it spot on for the tuning and we'll so that's what those are so you do the the winders first to get it close and then this fine tune it with that and that just gives that adjustment all right let's do the next part okay so this is the um, this is the Fender Wolf game so it's the neck and we're going to do exactly the same thing. So you can see with the main difference with this guitar is when you can see it, the, the it's got a curve here on the front part of the guitar, which is nice. And <clears throat> it's got a um, tine pot, which I don't use. I'm just using the volume and tremolo. So we're going to go through the same process now of. Um, 
loosening these and then loosening the nut here they're all done and then so what I'm going to do now is just replace do exactly the same process as what I did before and replace these. I'm going to do one at a time I'm not going to do pull them all off at the same time just a preference okay we'll do that So that's the PV Wolfgang with a new set of strings. This is the other Wolfgang that's got a new set of strings. And there's another little wolf as part of the wolf pack. Right, so that's great. That chore is done. Um, it's great having new um, strings on the guitar. And so now I'm going to tune them, show you how to do that. And then in the next video, I will um, we'll play them, and we'll go over some some techniques and ideas for solos. Okay, so here we are with the um, PV Wolfgang with the new um, strings, all nice and clean, um, ready to play. Just got to tune it now. Um, you'll tune everything from the low E string, um, and then. I'll demonstrate how to actually do it manually, sort of without the machine, so to speak. But there's your choice. My advice is try and use the reference of a piano or something like that, uh, just to help tune your ear, and always practice with the guitar in tune. It's really important that you develop your ear as soon as you can. <clears throat> it's an evolving thing, you just got to do it all the time. So, um, let's just tune the actual guitar now. So I'm going to flick over to the computer to just make it a little easier for me to do the video and this all right you know so so what, what, what I end up doing is I just move the winder here see that winder there and get it close and then here I'll fine-tune it with this little dial here, so to speak. Alright. Now, just on the side note, the Allen key, the little key to do these locking nuts and so on, comes with comes with Floyd Rhodes. With your guitar. Okay. But you can easily get another one if you lose it. Okay, so let's go to this tuner. So we know. Essentially what we'll do, I'll just grab my headphones so I can hear this. <clears throat> okay, so that's the low E. Now, um, 
we move to the A string. Fifth fret. Do the harmonics. just a pretty quick tune, I only spent a little bit more time, but essentially uh, as your strings are new they'll move around a bit so you're always just adjusting it and tying up. So once you've got theoretically got your guitar all set you'll go up here with your um, locking nut and lock these strings down so that's when you use the tremolo arm uh, it'll keep everything coming back into tune doing your riffs. So, uh, now I should just run through the strings, pretty much just get a book or look online or there's other channels that are going to <clears throat> the actually how to tune the you know each string and know what the strings are. But essentially it's the fifth fret. You go across with the fifth fret with each of these, apart from when you get to the the B string, um, you'll it'll go to the what is it, one, two, three, four. Go to the fourth fret for that one, and then fifth fret again. But you know, E A D G B E. They're the notes that you need for a standard tuning. Um, so tune the guitar up again, like anything. The more you do it, the easier it gets, and and so on. So very important to tune your guitar and to get started. So that's that's it for the moment. Um, and what I'll do in the next video, I'll um, put these guitars. We'll play. I'll play both, and we'll start to work out a, an idea of a framework for how to approach solos and practice at the same time. All right, take it easy. <laughs>